Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We also gonna have a look into Ethereum, the DXY and also Nasdaq because things are not looking so good, my friends. We are about to see Bitcoin potentially go sub 50K. But for now, I think there is a very high chance that we could see a breather here, even though we are trading now below the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame. So we lost the support that we had yesterday and it looks like that right now we are confirming it as a new resistance. So in the four hour time frame, we are in a downtrend. We are trading below the EMA ribbons, below all the moving averages. Money flow is negative. The only good thing is that we have already the RSI side cooling down towards oversold condition and also my own indicator we could get very soon a buy signal especially in the three hour time frame but since we are in a downtrend my friends i'm expecting here to most likely get rejected somewhere within the ema ribbons or where the 20 moving average is lining up here in the four hour right here at around fifty five thousand dollar so if we're gonna see here a breather to the upside I don't think that we will create higher highs. It looks like that we are creating here lower highs and of course lower lows, which of course is bearish. So we should expect here in the next coming hours and days, most likely here continuation to the downside, maybe a little bit go sideways. If we're gonna see a massive sell off towards our nine or 20 weekly moving average, then of course take it as a good buy opportunity, my friends, because long term we are still looking bullish and we will head towards way higher levels than what we are seeing right now because the bull market is not over. We will go towards higher prices, but of course for the short to mid term right now, it looks a bit bearish and we should be prepared here to see the price maybe even drop below 50K. So let's see what will happen here in the next coming hours. I'm expecting here a breather to the upside to potentially retest this area here of $55,000 because also this previously acted as a support where we also bounced off many times and now it could be acting as a new resistance and then afterwards we're gonna see continuation to the downside. I only gonna switch back into bull mode here for the lower time frames if we are able to go above $55,000 and also take out this resistance that we have here that is coming down and it's currently here at around $58,600. So I'm gonna switch back to bullish only if we are able to consolidate above this resistance trend line and of course uh, go back into an uptrend in the EMAs and of course all the close candles above all the moving averages at least in the four hour time frame. And also you can see that if we zoom out here a little bit, it is possible that we are forming here a bull flag or a falling wedge if we are just here the support trend lines. So of course, previously it looked like that we were forming here a descending triangle or maybe even a falling wedge if we would have stayed within this pattern. But since we already had this breakout here to the downside and for now we were bouncing at this important fib line here at $51,500, I see two possibilities right now one is the first one that we are seeing right now this breakout out of this uh, descending triangle we are confirming now the resistance and the target would be to reach here approximately 44 to 46 thousand dollar and at the other hand if we are able to create here a falling wedge or a bull flag in the four hour time frame so if we can somehow build up a support along a trend line here and then latest here at the 0.618 fibonacci retracement level here at around 49 thousand dollars have a big bounce to the upside and also take out this resistance here from this red trend line then I think we're gonna see an explosive move towards our bullish targets towards this $75,000 that is still my target to be reached here before we're gonna see any kind of major major sell-off so this correction or this consolidation here in my opinion can still be healthy and this can also mean that we're gonna see $75,000 before maybe we're gonna see a big washout but of course if we would drop lower especially lower than here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement at 49,000 then in my opinion we will go even sub 40 
okay if we're gonna lose this price level here because this is also where the nine weekly moving average is lining up and if we're gonna lose this important moving average in my opinion the likelihood of going even down towards the 20 weekly moving average in the bigger time frames which currently is at around thirty-seven thousand dollars becomes more and more probable and now let's go over into the daily time frame because the daily time frame at the moment is also looking a bit bearish. We are not yet in a downtrend. We are still within the EMA ribbons. So even if we touch the 50 daily moving average, which currently is right here at the bottom of the EMAs, there is a high chance that we could see a big bounce to the upside. But I also here only gonna turn back into bull mode once we're starting to close daily candles above the 9 and 20 daily moving average, which currently is here at 55,800. So here in the daily time frame, we are not yet in a downtrend and I will be very, very bullish if we can get here a buy signal in the daily. It doesn't look like that it will happen today or tomorrow, but at least in the next coming days or weeks, we're gonna see at some point here a buy signal and then is when I gonna go all in again into Bitcoin and also look for nice long opportunities because that would definitely mean that we're gonna see a trend reversal again to the upside. But uh, as long as we are dumping here in the lower time frames, in my opinion, we will go lower here or maybe even go sideways before then we're gonna have here a breakout to the upside. Only if in the daily time frame we are back in a downtrend, then I'm expecting a potential bigger sell off right now without seeing this big move towards $75,000 and the targets and of course are here. First, to touch the nine weekly moving average right here, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. And if this one is getting lost, then of course here, the 20 weekly moving average at $36,000 right now would be the last resort for the bulls to have then a big bounce to the upside because Bitcoin usually during a bull market always has a big, big bounce here, latest at the 20 weekly moving average it shouldn't drop lower than that otherwise th this could signal that we are entering into a longer term bear market but so far everything is still looking good for the bigger picture and we should expect here to reach a new all-time highs very soon but of course in the lower time frames it looks like that in the next coming days and weeks we could see here continuation to the downside maybe go sideways before having a big breakout to the upside I think we will be out of the woods only once uh, we are breaking this resistance trend line that is coming down from these highs that we had since $62,000. So until then, I think we're gonna go sideways or lower, my friends. And the same thing goes also for Ethereum. Ethereum yesterday took a big dive here. We, we are in theory still in an uptrend here on Ethereum since we are creating higher lows if we are not going lower than that. But the Ethereum is looking very critical here. We should see a big bounce very, very soon because if here we're starting to create lower lows and the lower highs in the daily time frame, this could be a very bearish sign for Ethereum. And then we should expect here big continuations to the downside potentially to go and test the 200 daily moving average here at around $900. So sub 1K again. I hope that this is not the case. I hope that we can recover immediately straight back up because otherwise this will end up very badly here for Ethereum. But also here, I think that very, very soon we are getting here a buy signal. And as soon as we are seeing another breather to the upside, hopefully then we can create again new all time highs. So things are a bit critical for Ethereum right now, even here in the daily time frame, we are closing daily candles now below the EMA ribbons and below all the moving averages. And that's why at the moment on Ethereum, I am a bit bearish, but of course, things can change here very, very quickly if Bitcoin is starting uh, to pump again. That's why all eyes are glued right now here in the Bitcoin price action. And if we now go over to the DXY, my friends, we are in a very, very critical point here because as you can see yesterday, we had this rejection here from the 200 daily moving average. We closed yesterday below this important moving average, but right now we are trading above the 200 daily moving average in the DXY. And this is not what we wanted to see here in order to see continuation to the upside in the stock market and also in the crypto market. So if in the next coming days, we are staying here above the 200 daily moving average, Average. things could turn around here for the DXY we could be back in an uptrend here if we are able to consolidate and start trading here above the 200 daily moving average so somewhere I'm expecting here also to get the sell signal and then if we're gonna see here a pullback we will see if we are supported now by the 9 and 
20 daily moving average and continue here the uptrend because also we are above the EMA ribbons for now. So if we're gonna see a pullback, we're gonna have to see where we're gonna get supported here because I'm still leaning more to the bearish side for the DXY. I still think that here somewhere we are getting rejected and we will be back in a bear market here or at least go sideways before maybe we're gonna see here a trend reversal. But if the DXY is really able to continue to pump here higher and higher and bring all the moving averages above the 200 daily, then I think here we're gonna see a trend reversal and we are back in a bull market here for the DXY. And that could be dangerous for the crypto market, but probably even more dangerous for the stock market, because in that case, we should expect the prices to go lower. And also for Bitcoin, it will be way more harder to pump higher if the DXY is also pumping. Usually we always see an inverse correlation here and if we have a look now into the Nasdaq you can see that right now we are trending here again below the 20 daily moving average and below the EMA ribbons so what we are seeing here is just sideways movements in the DXY above and below the 20 daily moving average we are squeezing here between the 100 and 50 daily moving average so in my opinion also here things are starting to get a bit more bearish and if we are closing daily candles here below the support that we have here at the 100 daily moving average then of course uh, this could be very bearish because in that case the next supports I think would be down here at the 200 daily moving average at around $12,000. Dollar and if Nasdaq is dumping, in my opinion, also the crypto market will have some very bearish times ahead. So let's hope that here we can recover straight back up and also break out here to the upside from this resistance that we still have here at around $13,000. So short to meter, my friends, I don't have good news for you right now. Of course, we're gonna see some breeders to the upside here, but we will be only out of the woods once we are breaking out here from this resistance trend line to the upside. So as soon as we are starting to close again, four hour and daily candles above $58,800, then I think we are back in an uptrend. But as long as we're trading within this pattern here, which could be ending up in a descending triangle or maybe in a bull flag, we will go sideways or maybe even go lower. So the most important thing to watch right now is here the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement based from this move that we had here from this bottom here at around $43,000 and the top currently here at $62,000. If this important price retracement here is getting lost, which is also coinciding with the nine weekly moving average, which so far held as a very, very strong support during our bull market, then I think we will go towards way lower levels and we're gonna see the washout right now before then we gear up towards new levels way above 100K. So this price level need to be hold my friends, otherwise things could really start to get ugly. So in my opinion, in the next coming days, we're gonna stay within this channel here until then we're gonna see a clear breakout to the downside or to the upside here. There is still a high chance that before we're gonna see any kind of bigger washouts to maybe retest the 20 weekly moving average, we're gonna see $70,000, maybe even higher prices but the big sell-off will come sooner or later. The question is only if it's happening right now or later once we are going completely parabolic here towards 75 to 100K. So if it happens right now that we are crashing down towards here, this 49,000, maybe even towards a 20 week moving average at $36,000, take it as a good buy opportunity for the long term, my friends, because Bitcoin anyway will go towards way higher levels. And with that said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you need an account over on Bybit or Femex where you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on with leverage, then check out my referral links down below here because with them you will get some extra money. And although we have still this special co-vesting feature over on PrimeXPT, check it out. There you can copy trade other successful traders. And also a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to join our Discord community, then use the link down below here. Once you have clicked it, you have to go here to the read first channel and click on the thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you want to get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin, then you have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to this indicator. Or you can just use the membership subscription here on YouTube. If you get access to it, you also have free access to the 
indicator so if you like the content my friends make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye